two months after Scripps Mercy Chula Vista shut down its maternity ward, the only one left in the region is now feeling the impact. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. Marcella has the night off. The closure left just one maternity ward in the entire South Bay. That's Sharp Chula Vista. CBS 8 Shannon Handy spoke with administrators there about the changes they've seen and a patient who recently gave birth. Sharp Chula Vista is now the only maternity ward south of the eight in San Diego County. It's been around for more than 30 years, and just last month, staff here delivered more babies than ever before. Edith Del Rio and Omar Valdez just had their firstborn daughter at Sharp Chula Vista. It's the best thing that has ever happened to us. We were praying for her. Born five weeks early, Ilani spent 20 days in the NICU. Thankfully, Edith and Omar live just 10 minutes away, so visiting her daily wasn't as challenging as it may be for others in similar situations. It made me feel good that we were really close by. Edith has been a longtime Sharp patient, so when Scripps Mercy Chula Vista shut down its maternity ward in June, she wasn't affected, but lots of women were. <laughs> Patients and healthcare workers spoke out concerned over the closure and the impact it had on access to prenatal care in the South Bay. Its maternity ward closed less than three years after Paradise Valleys did, making Sharp Chula Vista the only maternity ward left in the South Bay region. Getting prenatal care and, and being uh, connected to a physician uh, really improves outcomes for women and babies, so it's very important to us. Dr. Sam Marcador is the chief medical officer at Sharp Chula Vista. He says the maternity ward here has seen steady growth over the past few years and recently hired more nurses and doctors to prepare for an influx of new patients. When Sharp was one of three maternity wards in the area, they would deliver an average of 150 babies a month. After Paradise Valley's closed, it climbed to 200. Then, following Scripps closure, it jumped to 300 deliveries in July alone. Whether or not that sustains, it's, it's hard to say, but th these are our higher volume months uh, historically, so time will tell. Dr. Cordor says with an entire floor dedicated to maternity care, they have the space to handle the volume and can also access sister hospitals if needed. Nationwide, maternity ward closures have been on the rise due to a variety of reasons, including labor shortages, increasing costs, low reimbursements, and declining birth rates. When asked if there's any chance of that happening here, Dr. Cordor told me Sharp Chula Vista is committed to staying in the community and will offer help to anyone who needs it. We welcome anyone that comes to our door, absolutely anyone, and we take care of them the same way. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.